Now, what's, of course, most interesting about this one is um, its title, Across the Continent, Westward uh, Course of Empire Takes Its Way. It has all the elements, uh, all the stereotypical elements uh, of the sort of uh, westward movement, which is, uh, we actually know the uh, engraver, uh, uh, Frances Flora Bond Palmer. She's a Fanny Palmer, as she was called. She's the most famous uh, Courier Knives employee and, and also as a painter in her own right, as a British immigrant. Uh, when I look at it, I see most of, first of all, a diagonal cuts across uh, the image. Uh, and what cuts it across is the railroad. The railroad moves uh, from east to west, uh, from one corner to the other corner, as far as the eye can see, uh, the rails go to this sort of featureless uh, line that is the future. On one side of the diagonal, I see a natural scene. It's a heavily constructed natural scene, but nonetheless, it is nature. Uh, it has a beautiful series of lakes or waterways that move up to uh, a set of Rockies or whatever, trees as far as one can see along with uh, more of a prairie landscape. But right next to uh, the railroad on the immediate foreground are two Native Americans on horses. They are part of the natural world, uh, which again is a, is a stereotype, uh, sitting on their horses with their uh, spears uh, pointed or lances uh, sort of looking somewhat forlorn. In fact, the plumes of smoke uh, from the railway go in their direction, pretty much sort of cover them. So there is a certain element of disrespect going on that they are being left in the uh, you know, traces uh, of the railway, left behind. So that is the past. On the other side of the diagonal, it's a very different scene. This is civilization. Uh, this is a cluster of log cabins uh, in the foreground. The one in the foremost, closest to us, is a log cabin with a, a sign emblazoned on it, public school. What is more typical, stands in for civilization, for these pioneers, is the public school, the engine of progress, the engine of civilization, whatever community wanted to set up to proclaim that they were connected uh, to their, you know, to their past and to their future. Uh, so the railway sort of cuts across, there are people uh, watching, uh, well-dressed, sort of watching the railway. Uh, there are men in the, all the way on the left that are hacking out, uh, cutting down trees. So again, it has this 19th century, the emblem of progress is stripping away the forest, cutting down the trees. The more stumps, the better. Uh, this is not an ecological consciousness. Uh, this is a progressive uh, consciousness. And the fact that it's so stereotypical makes it wonderful to use because it lays out the formulas. It's expansive in its meaning, and thousands of these were made, uh, and thousands of these went up on people's homes, on their walls, framed. So it really has the element of a sort of mass-produced, mar mass mass-marketed, even though it's made by hand in many of its elements um, and distributed widely and really speaks for these tropes of American memory. What the past is, but more importantly, what the future might be. The trick, I think, with the, the Fanny Palmer uh, is, of course, to teach this as a, a sim heavily symbolic image made by an Eastern establishment rather than a representation of pioneer activity. Almost all the images we have of the West, and this goes through the 19th century Frederick Remington or others, are made by Easterners, and that's a question itself. So was this something that, you know, why would someone have uh, made, wanted to own this? Uh, even better yet, what would someone think about uh, going West if they saw this? Would this make it attractive? Mm, probably yes, actually, because the Indians are off on one side, civilizations on the other, there are public schools. This looks like, you know, real progress is going on. It's a fairly safe environment. Um, now, when we look, read women's letters at the same time from the Illinois prairie uh, or from the Oregon or whatever, we often get much more discordant notes about isolation. So instead of the social uh, thickness of ties here that are easily reproducible, 
and make it attractive for men and women, these women write about the fact that they've lost their friends. Their nearest settlement is, nearest farmhouse is three miles away. And only maybe on Sundays or the men go into town to do business, but they stay home uh, with their ever-increasing family.